The portal is jumping, and Kentucky has landed themselves their quarterback seemingly for 2024. Brock Vandergriff is headed to Lexington. So to break it all down from the Kentucky side of things, from KSR, the best in the business, Nick Roush. Nick, obviously, huge gift for Kentucky. What, what all went into this for Brock Vandergriff deciding to take his talents to Lexington? Well, it, it's it's funny how things work, JD, because we started we Kentucky fans had Brock Vandegrift same circled for about a year. Um, they thought that it, there was maybe some potential there last year, uh, following Stetson Bennett's departure. But Vandegrift ultimately uh, decided to go into that car, quarterback competition with Carson Beck. He was going to stick it out. Um, he, he didn't know where the rumors came from, but the Big Blue Nation, they've had their eyes on him for a while. They got to see him when he came in relief uh, when the dogs put a 50-burger on the Cats this fall. Um, but ultimately, I think a lot of what it came down to is Liam Cohen's uh, – he, he's a quarterback magnet. There's, there's really no other way around it. And in Vandegrift, he checks a lot of boxes for the Cats. Uh, and when he, he hopped into the portal, it was – it, it did not take very long for the Kentucky side of things to convince him that Lexington was the place to be. And he kind of fits a similar mold, it feels like, to a one Will Levis. Now, obviously, Will Levis is Will Levis. He's kind of in his own category. But why has Kentucky sort of become transfer quarterback U of sorts between Levis from Penn State, Devin Lee from NC State, and now the Georgia quarterback and Brock Vandergriff? Well, a big part of it is Liam Cohen and his pro-style system. Um, I that resume, right? He was the offensive coordinator for the defending Super Bowl champs a year ago. Quarterbacks want to get to the next level. They want to learn from a guy like Liam Cohen. Uh, that plays a significant role in it. I also think it helps that Kentucky's getting some offensive linemen back this year. But Will Levis really did did them a lot of favors, right? The first guy that Cohen got, he showed everybody else the path, right? Um, and in this particular case, I think it applies even more so. Where Levis was a guy who just couldn't win the job at a traditional powerhouse. He was at Penn State. Vandergriff was at Georgia. Levis had two years to kind of get it right. Vandergriff's got two years in Lexington. He can do a lot of the same things Will Levis can do. Probably not the same physical raw athlete that Levis is, but by all intents and purposes, has a, a similar style, a similar game, probably puts a little bit more touch on his ball. So there's a lot of reasons for Kentucky fans to be excited. And I, I really think, J.D., a lot of it is the, the two-year window here because um, the pro-style system we learn, it can be difficult for some of these guys to pick up. He's got a little bit of extra time to develop, and it also helps them because they, they have figured out the high school recruiting aspect of it. But, J.D., do you really want to give – a Cutter Bowley, a true freshman, or even a redshirt freshman, do you want to put all of that weight on his shoulders? Having two years with Brock Vandegrift really helps the quarterback position for the future here at the University of Kentucky. And from a 30,000-foot view, there will be some people that see this headline and say, ah, oh, guy couldn't cut it at Georgia. That's why he hit the portal. It's like, no, no, no. This is a five-star guy from the 2021 class. Uh, just because you don't get on the field at Georgia doesn't mean you're not still really freaking good. So I'm sure the folks at Kentucky are excited to have him more than likely running the show for them next year. Now, we're, we're kind of jumping into portal season now. It's just sort of taking off. Uh, any other positions mm -hmm. that you're keeping an eye on for Kentucky to where they may be looking to add some guys? The focus is going to remain primarily on the offense. I mentioned that they're getting a lot of offensive linemen back, but they are losing some wide receivers. And depth in that, the, the numbers were low this year, right? I mean, they need reinforcements. They need bodies. Um, there's a couple of guys they've got targeted. Uh, the big one right now is Raymond Cottrell from Texas A&M. He was a top 300 recruit a year ago from Milton, Florida, um, and is going to be visiting this weekend in Lexington. So uh, a big X receiver um, on the outside. They need a guy that, hey, when it's third and seven, third and five, let's – Let's get this guy on a stick route, throw it up to him, let him go get it. Cottrell might be a guy that's up for that task. Uh, and Jamori Macklin, I know he's gotten re uh, interest from a lot of people out there. The North Texas receiver that started his career at Missouri. He, he can play the outside and really take the top end off of a defense. So I expect Kentucky to get some reinforcements at wide receiver. And then th they're hunting for a running back. It's a little hard to find one right now. We know the, the, the market is a little light. There's not a lot of supply right now, but – uh, we're only three days into this thing. Uh, there's not only is there this initial wave, JD, but you get the post bowl game wave of transfer portal additions, and then you get the spring 
uh, wave as well. So I, I expect the Cats to ultimately uh, land a running back um, at some point uh, throughout the next six, eight months, whatever it is. And another position where Kentucky's got a pretty strong track record at, like mm-hmm. a spot where if I'm a back and I jump in the portal, I'm like, hey, I've seen guys go to Kentucky and have a, a lot of success. So I uh, feel like they'll be okay in that department as well. Nick, appreciate you, man. I know portal season is wild. you got the bowl game coming up. And oh, by the way, mm-hmm. Kentucky also plays basketball at a pretty high level. I know that's, that's getting rolling. So appreciate <laughs> you making good. time to jump in here and uh, talk some BVG with us, man. We'll do it again soon. It's always a pleasure being on the program. Kentucky fans, if you liked that video, go get a membership over at KSR, the number one source for all things Kentucky sports. Also, subscribe right here to the On3 Roundtable YouTube channel.